Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. And today I'm gonna to do the new arrival video for January 20th, 2023. So a lot of the new arrivals didn't come in again today because of the Monday holiday. So things are still backed up. It's kind of a weird year so far. We've had with Christmas or New Year's, Martin Luther King Day, uh, we've had three Monday holidays, like back to back to back. So things have been a little bit wonky to say the least. But a lot of great stuff actually did come in. Uh, not all of it, but a lot of great stuff came in. A lot of killer restocks, things that have been out of print a long time and have been going for huge money on the secondary market have come in. And uh, I've actually got the uh, Rolling Stones mono box to show you guys. I did an, uh, kind of a quick video on it last night. You guys can probably see it. This is the colored mono box. I'll talk about that in a minute. But they announced a couple of pre-orders this week that are pretty solid. Uh, we've got Andrew Hill, the next two tone poets, Dance With Death, that's coming out March 3rd, and then Carmel Jones, the remarkable Carmel Jones, comes out the same day. All Analog Cut by Kevin Gray from the original Analog Master Tapes. Miley Cyrus has a new album coming out, Endless Summer. That's coming out at uh, the end of March, the 31st. There is a box set that kind of slid under the radar. I think this was announced a couple of weeks ago, but I missed it. It's uh, Eddie Lockjaw Davis with Shirley Scott. It's a 4LP box set, all analog, cut from the original Master Tapes by Bernie Grunman. And essentially, it's Eddie uh, Lockjaw's Cookbook Volume 1, 2, and 3 in Smokin'. Originally on Prestige. They're only doing 5,000 copies of these. And it's really reasonably priced for an audiophile box set, right? So, uh, yeah, that's up on the website for pre-order. And probably the pre-order that I'm most excited about, well, definitely of the year, but in a long time. I mean, it's been a long time. And that is the new uh, Kristen Etkins, Shapes and Sounds. So this is from the brand new Coherent label. So, Coherent Records. So this is essentially a modern jazz record, right? Recorded in somebody's living room on an all tube system. The whole studio is a tube analog studio and then mastered on an all tube system. Sound familiar? If it does sound familiar, it's because that's how Rudy Van Gelder cut all of those fantastic late 50s records in his parents' living room. The original Blue Notes, that first iteration of Rudy Van Gelder Blue Notes, were actually recorded in his parents' living room. Uh, all direct to two-track, the same exact way that these are being recorded. Okay, so just the concept alone is like, wow, this is a fantastic idea, a proven idea, something we know works and sounds fantastic. Okay, well, now who's doing it? Well, it's Kevin Gray. You might have heard me mention his name, you know, 5,000 times in the last three years. But this is his first record from his first, uh, you know, his first record on his brand new label, Coherent Records. So this is going to be all analog from an all analog tube studio, cut to two track, and then mastered by Kevin Gray. So, I mean, think about it in terms of like, we like, look, we know how good his stuff can be, like what he does for other records that you've heard far crummier copies of over the years. Like think of the effort that you're gonna assume that he would put into his own stuff. You know what I mean? Like if it's your own record, first out of the hopper, the amount of effort, time, and what this is gonna sound like. I haven't heard it yet, but I'm looking, and like I said, this is the reason I'm looking forward to it. The whole idea, the whole concept, what he's doing, in his living room, the Van, e Van Gelder way, direct to two track. A lot of people don't realize how big of a difference that makes. Traditional recordings, even modern analog recordings, they're recording to 16 track or 24 track analog tape. You know, thin little pieces of the analog tape. If it's 16 in, uh, track, it's typically on one inch tape. If it's 24 track, it's on like two inch tape. But this is two track. There is no farther mix down. It's cut typically from that two track. So it's not recorded multi-track and then remixed. It's recorded two track and cut directly from two track. That's how Van Gelder did it for years. One of the reason why his stuff shines so much brighter than all the other stuff of the era. I mean, it was a lot of it was in the technique and the way things were recorded. And that's what's re being replicated here. 
So I'm super pumped about it. And I mean, it's the RTI. It's the full audiophile experience, right? He knows how to make a record at this point, uh, mastering-wise. But obviously, he's learned, like, the tail end of how to do it, where to do it, Stoughton. So I've got that up for pre-order on the website. I'm thrilled to be able to carry it. Uh, it's This is a kind of project, like... This should really, truly be, if you're even remotely interested in jazz, this is something that really should be supported. This is somebody who's doing it in the best way possible. Do you know what I mean? Paying homage to somebody who's considered the greatest. So I really stand behind this, and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to ship pretty soon. End of January, early February, I'll have it. Uh, you also saw the mono box set Rolling Stones. I had a new in-groove t-shirt. That was the prototype. I've got them on the website right now for pre-order. Unfortunately, the prices of t-shirts since I did my last t-shirt, which I ordered so many of them, I still have them. Uh, it's gone up, so they're a little bit pricier. Inflation. But uh, I've got it on the website for pre-order. You can see me wearing it on the last video I did. And I should have that maybe in another week or two. So check it out. Uh, it's actually a shirt that comes from the contest that I am doing. Uh, but it was one of the ones that was rejected. But I liked it so much, I decided to do it anyways. And I might do that for other t-shirts. Uh, on a side note, you can vote on the poll today for the, the top two choices. And the winner of that one will also be another t-shirt design. So I'm hoping we'll have this one that I did. We'll have another one, the winner of the contest. And a couple of those other ones have really caught my eyes. I might work something out with the artists who did it and try to get those t-shirts put into production as well. Okay, so let's start with the Rolling Stones... In mono, this is all pretty much a replication of the original. Hold on, I forgot to grab all these. This is a replication of the 2016 that was done. Essentially, they've done it in color uh, vinyl as opposed to black vinyl. If you remember, before they announced this, this was a box set that was pushing upwards towards $1,500. They redid it again. They did it in colored vinyl. Uh, same Bob Wid Lugwid. DSD files, I believe. I'm pretty sure it seems like that's where it's going, but sounds pretty much identical to the other box. So I'm really happy with this. I'm glad it's out. Uh, they were shipped in a way that was a little bit wonky. I've had to rebox these things. I had some damages. Some of the seams on some of these boxes were split. Of course, I'm not going to send those to you. Those are going to go back. And I have re engineered the box, and it went from a box that was roughly about an inch thicker than this all the way around and you purchase this from me you're going to get it in a box that's about this big because that's what i felt comfortable in shipping it in but yeah the rolling stones in mono all their records in mono plus the bonus disc stray cats okay i got a japanese restock but i also got <coughs> excuse me i got a japanese record restock and i also got a japanese sacd restock so i'll show you those first We've got Miles Davis's Live Evil. This is an SACD, but it's also a multi-layer that has the original quad mix on it. These are Japanese imports. Big, thick, like LP. Uh, this is a foil cover. It has that nice, thick, book-like design. But, uh, yeah, tried not to show you stuff that'll get me in trouble. But <laughs> there it is. Great cover. Fantastic album, but it's foiled. It's got a book. These are really exceptionally well done SACDs out of Japan only, unfortunately. Uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra, Birds on Fire, same concept. These are roughly about the size of a seven inch single, just to give you an idea. This is a stereo hybrid disc, so it's gonna be CD, SACD. I've got a restock of Fleetwood Max Rumors on SACD. This is also multi-channel. This Santana, is also quadraphonic. So this is stereo and has the quadraphonic SACD layer. Same book type design. Abraxas SACD quad mix as well. But these are great. Foil cover on this. Jeff, ba Jeff Beck. Out of all the guys who have passed away recently, this was kind of the hardest for me because he's truly one of the greatest guitar players of all time. Uh, one of the most unique as well. But here's a uh, SACD of Blow by Blow. Carol King's Tapestry. 
And I'll show you the uh, Japanese restock LPs, and there's a couple of new ones as well. We've got uh, Santana, Buddy Miles, Santana 3. And then uh, we've got, what the hell is this? Carvanasai. Carvanasai, I don't know. I can never pronounce this, you know. I'm normally very, very good at pronouncing strange names, you know, people's names, foreigners' names. But for whatever reason, that particular one has always eluded me. Carvanas? It's like in my head, but it's not coming out. Anyways, the new Eagles One Step, that's actually old. This was a one step that they actually didn't manufacture enough to meet the original demand, and then they stopped manufacturing of them. I believe to probably start on Thriller because that had a firm deadline. And now it is finally in. If you've ordered this from me, it is probably more than likely shipped. If it hasn't shipped, it will in the next couple of days. I apologize. This normally doesn't happen. This is one of these nights. It's only happened one other time, and I think that was with the Mingus One Step. Normally I get them about a week or two after. In some cases I get them early, like the Thriller I actually got before and had them all shipped by release date. It was fantastic. But yeah. I actually do have it in stock and it's ready to go. So I think I actually have the first four Eagles One Steps in stock. So, yeah. They're reissuing the Love and Rockets catalog. So this is uh, Express. It has been a while. Actually, I think Kevin Gray did the last reissue of these. But they were super limited. Maybe they did 1,500 of these. Seventh Dream of, a, of Teenaged Heaven. Gay fold. Yeah. Here is the International Submarine Band. Now this is another one of the uh, modern harmonic slash Sundays cuts that are all analog. And I'm loving the fact that they're doing this now. They're actually doing affordably priced analog Kevin Gray cuts. And this is one of them. So yeah, all analog cut from the original Mono Masters by Kevin Gray. The International Submarine Band. Safe at home. There you go. All analog. Henry Franklin, Jazz is Dead, Volume 14. This is the, uh, yeah, this is a limited edition color variant. The series is fantastic. Tony Joe White, live from Austin. I'm almost positive this is close. This is, this is actually already a discontinued product, but this is the uh, colored exclusive. So this is actually out of print, but I got a few of them left. Grateful Dead, Dick's Picks, Volume 33. Hand numbered, limited to 6,000 copies. Uh, Oakland Coliseum, 76. Let's copy 3,058. How many discs is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight disc set. So yeah, this is a uh, eight disc vinyl box set. A lot of... Uh, a lot of Grateful Dead here. Lacquer was cut by Clint Holly. Press that got a groove records. Fella Kute's 50th anniversary on 45 RPN marbled red and green vinyl. Aphrodisiac. Another title from, I think this is a Modern Harmonic, the Sunday sub label. Yeah, Sun Ra. Profit. Love the fact that they're doing these obscure Sun Ra titles. Good luck finding stuff on Saturn. Cost a fortune. This, I think, is just a reissue of uh, Jungle Forever. Fountains of Wayne. Out of state plates. This is the first time on vinyl. 2LP set. This is the classic rarities collection. Margo Price. Strays. This is the limited edition indie exclusive vinyl, uh, purple smoke vinyl. Actually, we got an indie exclusive, I forgot to grab it, an indie exclusive CD, uh, limited edition bonus track, but it's also autographed. It comes with the sign autograph booklet, which is kind of cool. So I've got a few of those. I typically don't do CDs. I do audio file CDs. I typically don't do CDs though, unless they are autographed exclusives. Let's see, we've got Varials, Scars 
for you to remember. Okay, a translucent red vinyl. I know nothing about this. Verb by request, a phenomenal series. The Pharaoh Sanders, uh, excuse me, the uh, Alice Coltrane, Pata, the El Duad, unbelievable recording. Sounds fantastic. I never heard that record sound that good, is the Verb by Request series. But these are the latest two. James Brown's Soul on Top. Unfortunately, they come a little bit dirty in a paper sleeve, but the paper can be cleaned off. And Mel Brown's Chicken Fat. Most of these, from what I hear, are actually cut from the original analog tapes when available. So it looks like they're really trying to do a solid job on these. If it's not available, I'm assuming, obviously, it's not going to get done. They'll do something else. But we know pretty much from the reissue campaign that Chad's doing, a lot of these master tapes seem to exist from Impulse for sure. YG, I got issues on Def Jam. The Rolling Stones, Some Girls, 2LP and DVD set from the Rolling Stones uh, archive series titles they've been doing. This is a live concert, live in Texas, 78. Unbelievable concert. This is a must own for a Stones fan and probably the coolest tour poster on the cover that uh, they've ever had. Larry Young, Into Something. This is a Blue Note 80th All Analog Cup by Kevin Gray. This is just a restock. I'll kind of blow through these. Horace Silver, Song for My Father, Restock, All Analog. A uh, title that, man, I saw this going for like $100, bucks, 125 dollars but a couple months back, the Smashing Pumpkins, Gish. All their catalog is pretty much in print. That, you know, stuff, well, most of their catalog is pretty much in print, although while it's out of print, it seems to be going for obnoxious money, but I wouldn't be paying obnoxious money for any of that stuff. It will come back. Uh, you know, Siamese Dreams, Gish, uh, Melancholy, all of these are in print. They will come back. But I've got Gish in stock now. One of my favorite Herbie Hancock titles, Interventions and Dimensions. Paul Chambers, Willie Bobo, great record. Two of the new Blue Note Classic series. I don't know if I showed these yet. I don't think so. These came right at the tail end of last week. The new Blue Note Classic, all analog, cut by Kevin Gray. Grant Green. Green is beautiful. And Bobby Hutcherson featuring Harold Land. Okay, let me show you. There's still some solid restocks here, but let me show you some of the Japanese uh, imports. And again, I've showed these a few times on the channel, but look at the quality of these things. Let me crack one of these open. Keep in mind, too, this is how the Japanese records come from Japan. They are not sealed. Look at this, big, thick tip-on jacket made exactly well, made to a higher quality as the original. Beautiful covers. The Japanese, they really want to make sure you get it in good shape. They actually put a 12-inch DJ sleeve, the records, in it so it doesn't actually get damaged in transit. Uh, these are all DSD, but these are actually pressed and mastered in Japan and pressed at Sony Japan. And I've told you guys this in the past, Sony Japan is to the upper, I mean, if they're not, they're one of the best. Like RTI, QRP, and Sony Japan are making bar none the absolute best sounding vinyl records you can buy in 2023. It's unbelievable how it seems like they were almost able to pick up in Japan making new records just like they did in the 80s. The sound quality on these are fantastic uh, vinyl-wise. Some of the masterings. It's nothing like it was back in the 80s. A lot of these actually do sound quite good. It's nothing like that wonky 70s, 80s, boosted treble, short on the bass, Japanese sound. It definitely doesn't have that anymore. And a lot of these are being done from uh, DSD files now, especially the Sony titles. So we've got Sorcerer, four and more, live in concert. Paul Desmond's Take 10. I think this is a new one as well. Uh, yeah, this is a Sony Japan title. Miles Davis, Nefertiti. I'm actually going to pick up the Miles Davis titles. I've got them at 45 from, uh, well, I've got Sorcerer at 45. A lot of the, these later titles were done at 45 by Mile, uh, Mobile Fidelity, but I want to hear them on, you know, 33. Sometimes I don't feel like playing a 45, even if it does sound better. If I just want to sit down and kind of relax, 
I'll play a 33. Nefertiti, I know it's lazy, but you know. Ryuchi Sakamoto. This is actually mastered by Bernie Grunman. Same thing. Nice, high-quality tip-on jacket. This is not a Sony title, I believe, though. No. Another Miles Davis title, My Funny Valentine. This is a Sony title. Let's see. Boss Gag, Silk Degrees. Bill Evans album. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, John Coltrane, Coltrane Sound. Same thing, nice tip on jacket. This is the mono cut. We've got Miles Davis's Milestones. Another Sony Japan title. John Coltrane's Coltrane Jazz, and this is the mono cut as well. With the plum label. The very first title ever produced at Sony Japan, the new Sony Japan, that is Billy Joel's 52nd Street. This actually is a fantastic sounding record. When I heard this for the first time, I was like, holy cow, this is really good. Something you don't see very often, Barney Weiland Records. This is Barney. Another Sony Japan title. Mono cut. Got a restock of Rush's Moving Pictures. Got a restock of another Blue Note 80th title. A Fickle Sonnets, Jackie McLean. The Chet Baker and Art Pepper. Originally titled Playboys, but this is the alternate cover. Pitcher of Heath. Keep in mind, this is a record that is cut extremely dynamic. When it first came out, I was getting people saying it's defective. They would send it back to me. It plays fine. I'm like, no, it's a turntable issue. Sent a lot of guys emails. They're like, no, it's not. I'm like, yes, it is. Blue Note actually got involved. They posted to their Facebook as well that it is a turntable issue. This thing is cut so hot, kind of like the original Robert Ludwig II Led Zeppelin. It is cut so hot that some turntables, if they're just not perfectly calibrated, they'll pop out of the groove. So yeah, one of my favorite Blue Note Tone Poets, probably because I love Herbie Hancock so much, The Prisoner. This has been out of stock for a long time. I'm glad to have this back in, as well as these next two. Kenny Burrell introducing his first album on Blue Note. And this is actually one of the more recent Tone Poets, but the Grant Green stuff is like impossible to keep in stock. It just sells out immediately. Feeling the spirit, Grant Green. Maybe this came out five, six months, four or five months ago. Not too long ago. But yeah, a lot of great titles this week. I'll send out an email as well with the titles. I think there's some Star Your Off Right titles that I didn't get in time. But I'll probably have it tomorrow and I'll send everybody an email. But check it out. Check out the pre-orders. And I highly recommend check out the Kristen Edkins from Coherent Records. I'm just, the thing's going to have to sound great. Just the whole concept behind it is fantastic. All right, guys, theingroove.com. Until next time.